welcome back to our youtube channel this is your adc welcome adc maths i welcome you all in this video we are going to introduce the 3 by 3 matrix how to obtain the eigen values of the 3 cross 3 matrix so once we know the Again, we when want the eigen values, then we need to get the characteristic equation. What is the characteristic equation for three by three matrix? Yeah, the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation of A is nothing but determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to zero, isn't it? So this is the characteristic equation of yeah, any matrix, any square matrix A. Especially for 3 by 3 matrix, especially for 3 by 3 matrix, what is the equation? Lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0. Plus, minus, plus, minus, alternatively 3 by 3 matrix so that lambda power 3, then lambda power 2, lambda power 1, finally is the lambda power 0 is so a constant term. S1, S2, S3. What are the S1, S2, S3? You can see that. What are the S1? S1 is the sum of the leading diagonal elements. So, 2 plus 1 plus minus 3 is equal to 0. Once I repeat that, S1 is the sum of the leading diagonal elements. 2 plus 1 plus minus 3, so 0. What about S2? S2 is the sum of the minus through the leading diagonal elements. So, first diagonal, when I close the corresponding row and the column, we get 1, 1, 2, minus 3. 1, 1, 2, minus 3. Plus, what about the second one? Second diagonal. So, this one, the corresponding column and the row eliminated. So, 2, 0, minus 7, minus 3. 2, 0, minus 7, minus 3. What about third diagonal? Minus 3. This column and this row eliminated. 2, 2, 2, 1. So, 2, 2, 2, 1. Is right? It's clear? So, let us find out the value. 1 into minus 3, minus 3, minus 2 into 1, 2. Plus 2 into minus 3, minus 6, minus 7 into 0, 0. Plus 2 into 1 is 2, minus 2. 2 2 is 4. So, minus 5, minus 6, minus 2. Where it's up? 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 5, minus 6, minus 2. I think so. It is minus 13. Where it's up? S2 is minus 13. What about S3? S3 is the determinant of the matrix A. E. So, this is plus, this is minus, this is plus. So, plus means 2 into 2 into this column and this 2 is in between. So balance is 2, 1. It is 1, 1, 2, minus 3. Okay. So if you if you don't know, understand, then go for 1, 1, 2, minus 3. Minus sign. So minus 2 into the same row and this column. So 2, 1, minus 7, minus 3. So 2, 1, minus 7, minus 3. Plus the last one is 0. So 0 into the same row and this column. 2, 1, minus 7, 2. 2, 1, minus 7, 2. So, this is the way to get the determinant. Okay. Anyhow, last one is 0. 0, nothing, 0. So, we don't bother about this one. Once I repeat this, plus, minus, plus. Same row only. We can expand via first row. 2. So, the corresponding row and the column eliminated. So, 2 into the minor. 1, 1, 2, minus 3. Minus sign here. So, minus 2 into. The same row and this middle column is eliminated. So, 2, 1, minus 7, minus 3. And plus 0 times the same row and the third column is eliminated. So, 2, 1, minus 7, 2. But any of this is 0. So, we don't bother. Because 0, nothing, 0. Now, 2 into. 2 into minus. That is 1 into minus 3 is minus 3. Minus 2 into 1, minus 2. Minus 2 into. 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. Minus Minus 7 to 1 is minus 7. Minus or minus plus 7. Plus 0. Because 0 is 0. So I just leave the term. Then what about this one? 2 into minus 5. 
minus 2 into 7 minus 6 is 1. So minus 10 minus 2, I think so minus 12. So S3 is minus 12. Where it's up? S1 0, S2 minus 13, S3 is minus 12. Can I substitute in the place of S1, S2 and S3? So now I am getting that the lambda cube, the cubic polynomial. Why I am getting the cubic polynomial? Because of this is the 3 by 3 matrix. So which gives the cubic polynomial. If you solve the cubic polynomial, we get the three values. That is the three again values. So how to solve the cubic polynomial? That is also very much interesting here. So to see that lambda cube minus. What about S1? S1 is 0. So 0 lambda square. What about S2? Minus 13. But here plus is there. So minus 13 lambda. S3 is minus. Minus sign of S3. S3 is minus 12. So minus or minus plus 12. So once again I repeat this. Once again I repeat this. S1 is 0. S2 is minus 13. And S3 is minus 12. So minus of minus plus 12. This is the cubic polynomial. So how to solve the cubic polynomial? There are many techniques, but here I am going to use one simple technique. This is called the long division method. This is known as the long division method. What is long division method? This is also known as trial and error method. Trial and error method. Why this is called trial and error method? I can give the explanation now. Sir, so, the last one of the equation always represents the product of the roots, isn't it? Now, can you see what is the number here? 12. 12 is an even number. So, what are the factors of 12? 2, 3, 4, 6, even 12. So, I fix first of all, so 12 is an even number, so I go with the 2. So 2 is definitely one of the root. Either plus 2 or minus 2, I don't know. So I'm going to use the trial and the error basis. So what is long division method or trial and error method? I'm going to find the first root by using the trial and error method. It's often called as long division method or synthetic division method. It's also known as synthetic division method. Synthetic division method or long division method. What is actually the method says that? Very simple. Please collect the coefficients of highest power to the lowest power. What's highest power here? Lambda power 3. The coefficient of lambda power 3 is 1. The immediate lowest power is lambda squared. The coefficient is 0. The immediate lambda power is lambda. The coefficient is minus 13. Then finally a constant term 12. So first collect the coefficients from the highest term to the constant term. Now I can divide this by long division method. It's also known as the reminder theorem. When we perfectly divide, then that is called the root. So here I start with 0. I start with 0 here. To get 0 here in the reminder, in the reminder when I get 0 means it can be perfectly divided. So when it is perfectly divided means then the value is called the root. So as I suggest you that 12 is the even number. So 2 definitely is one of the root. But I don't know whether it is plus 2 or minus 2. I don't know. So can we start with the plus 2 what happened? We go for plus 2 what happened? We go for plus 2 sir. It is possible for plus 2. It is not working. Go for the second value. See that. So plus 2. Adding this vertically, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1, 2 is 2, adding vertically, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2, 2 is 4, adding vertically, it is minus 3 plus 7 is minus 9, minus 9 2 is minus 18, adding vertically we get minus 6 is not equal to 0, so sorry, plus 2 is not the correct answer because it doesn't give 0, doesn't perfectly divide, so plus 2 is not the answer. Plus 2 is not the correct answer. So what about minus 2? So once again I go for minus 2. Once again I go for minus 2. Once again I go for minus 2. Then whether we get 0 or not. Let us see that. I go for minus 2. Once we get 0 perfectly. It divides. That is the root. So if I go for minus 2. What happened? I don't know exactly. What is the answer? So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. 0 plus minus 2 is minus 2, minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4, 
On second, it is minus 9, minus 10 to minus 10 is plus 18, 12 plus it is 30, sorry, it is not equal to 0. So, minus 2 is also not a root. What I think, I think 12 is an even number, so 2 may be the one of the root. But that's why this is called the trial and error method. I tried plus 2, I got the error. I get minus 2, I got the error. So, what are the other factors of 12? 3 and 4. So, can we use 3 now? Can we use 3 now? Plus 3 or minus 3, I don't know once again. So, you can do this by using trial and error method. So, can you use 3, sir? 3. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 into 3, 3. 0 plus 3, 3. 3 into 3, 9. Minus 3 plus 9. Minus 13 plus 9 is minus 4. Minus 4 into 3. Minus 12. 0. So, I get the first root. It is plus 3. So, the first root is plus 3. Isn't it? Isn't it? So, given cubic polynomial, after getting the first root by using trial and error method. Sir, so, trial and error method, because we may try plus 2, then minus 2, now plus 3, we get the answer. So, once we get the first root, it's a cubic polynomial, third degree polynomial. After getting the first root, this can be reduced to second degree polynomial. So, third degree polynomial, after getting the first root, it becomes reduced to second degree polynomial. So, what is the reduced equation? The reduced equation B. What is the reduced equation? This is represents the coefficient of lambda square. This represents the lambda term. This is the constant term. Okay, so once I repeat this, this is the coefficient of lambda cube, this is the coefficient of lambda square, this is a lambda term, this is a constant term, this is the cubic polynomial. After getting the first root, can be reduced to second degree polynomial. So what is that? Lambda square, lambda and 4. So lambda square minus plus 3 lambda minus 4 equal to 0. Now you can solve this by using quadratic formula. That is what I suggest you that. After getting the first root, you can solve this by quadratic formula or remainder theorem or factorization technique. You may find the other two roots. You don't bother about it. So, can you solving it, we get the roots of solving this, we get the other roots are lambda 2 is equal to 1 and lambda 3 is equal to minus 4. Minus 4. So, this is the way to get the three eigenvalues for the 3 cross 3 matrix. 3 cross 3 matrix. This is a very interesting and very new concept. Using long division method or synthetic division method is often called as trial and error method. First we start with the cubic polynomial. We collect the coefficients of the highest to the constant term. If I saw the 12, 12 may be the even number. So I tried plus 2, I didn't get minus 2, I failed. So I go for 3, yes I got 0. So adding vertically this value multiply here, put it here. Adding vertically, multiply 3, 3, 7, 9, we get here. Adding vertically, we get minus 4, to 2, 3, minus 1, 0. It's perfectly divided, so no reminder. So that's why this is the perfect root. So this is the one among the root. Because cubic polynomial, there are three roots. One is 3, what about the other two? So others two, I suggest only the quadratic equation. That's it. Because cubic polynomial, after getting the first root, reduced to second degree polynomial. This indicates the coefficient of lambda scale. This is represents the coefficient of lambda. This is the constant term. If you solve this by any method, quality formula or factorization method or the factors, then we can use any technique. We get the two roots, the main two roots, 1 and the minus 4. Can you see what is the product of the roots? 3 into 1 into minus 4 is minus 12. That is the S3 value. Product of the roots. What about the sum of the roots? That is the S1. What are the sum of the roots? Plus 3, plus 1, 4. 4 minus 4, 0. That is the S1. So this is the one of the best property. Sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the Sum of the leading diagonal element. This is the very first property. Second property, product of the eigenvalues is equal to its determinant value. Got it?
Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and follow our YouTube channel, ADC Max.